Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today is May 28th and Samsung just launched Samsung One UI 8 beta program for the Galaxy S25 devices. Now we'll take a look at the Samsung Newsroom article in just a second, but I wanna let you guys know where you're able to sign up. So it starts today with the Galaxy S25, the S25 Plus and the S25 Ultra in Germany, Korea, the UK and the United States. Now we will take a look at just a few things here in this article, but let me show you where and how you're able to join and sign up for the One UI 8 beta program. First off, head over into your Samsung members application. If you don't have the Samsung members application, just go to your Galaxy store and download it and make sure you have the latest update. Now, normally with beta updates, they're usually up here with a banner but they streamlined everything, which actually there is a banner right there, but they did streamline everything and created a whole different tab for it, specifically for beta programs. It'll let you know what is available that you are open and able to join. So this is where you tap on this one here, and then it'll give you a little bit of details. It's letting you know that the beta test does support T-Mobile and unlocked devices. Already Samsung is having a more open, conversation letting us know exactly which countries the beta program is available and to which devices and carriers. So I like the fact that they told us exactly which countries it's available for, also uh, which devices, and then if you have unlocked or carrier locked. So this is where you just go to join. And what I'll do in this video here is something that is just very quick and easy. I'm gonna go and sign up for this. I'm gonna update the phone, and then it's going to give me time to play with Samsung One UI 8, and then I'll come back and I'll shoot a video of everything that is brand new. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go and check for some software updates, which is cool. So what I like about that is that it brought me directly to my settings, and this is where I'm able to just do my software update. So I didn't have to go through everything. I was able to go through the Samsung members application. I was able to check for an update, and it took me right here. Again, everything is super streamlined. So this is Samsung One UI 8 beta, and this is for Android 16. Now, on the bottom over here, this one's giving us the May 1st security patch. The size is 3,413 megabytes. The version ends with Z-Y-E-R. And again, right there, Android 16. So if we take a look at some of the changes, uh, underneath productivity, you have easier file sharing with Quick Share. So I know that there is a enhanced Quick Share that we do now have with One UI 8. Easily find downloaded files redesigned Samsung internet, more convenient AI select, uh, multitasking, they enhance the display support for Samsung DeX, enhanced split screen view. Uh, for reminder, there is a new reminder interface. So you can kind of think of this as like a enhanced reminder if you've ever used the reminder application. Uh, new sample reminders, add reminders easily. For calendar, you can manage reminders and calendar, add events uh, quickly. Modes and routines, new preset routines, new routine actions. For Samsung Health, running distance challenges, food recording reminders. For communication, they have improved profile cards, re uh, review recorded calls in contacts. Camera, you can swipe up or down to open quick controls. Security and privacy, they enhanced a uh, secure folder. For accessibility, the pinch and zoom with assistant menu, uh, control mouse actions with your keyboard, magnify your keyboard, easily pair Bluetooth hearing aids. And then for even more improvements, easily connect to AuraCast broadcasts, enhanced alarm groups, uh, get quicker support, and then revamped weather visuals. So as this is preparing for the update, I wanna go back to this article because they gave a little bit of details and exactly how this was able to come so quickly. So through open communication, Samsung and Google actively shared the respective design systems and real-time feedback with one another, accelerating the software development that made One UI 8 one of the first UI platforms to adopt Android 16. So scrolling on down again, this is where it lets you know which devices and also which countries. 
going down this way a little bit more. Uh, anything that is darker, you know, anything that's the, the bold black is letting us know of some of the newer features. So they enhance the now bar and now brief. It'll deliver even more customiz customized insights and suggestions to help you stay on top of tasks and support your daily routines. So this is the newer views for a quick share and reminder, which we will take a look at, you know, in the next video. And then they talk about AuraCast and you're able to use a QR code scanning and sharing. So it'll allow multiple AuraCast devices like the Galaxy Buds 3 and hearing aids to join a shared audio stream without the hassle of complex manual setup. And then again, they're talking about the Reminder app and then the newer version of Quick Shares. So what I'll do is I'll place this link below the video inside the description if you would like to read more about Samsung One UI 8 beta program. So how about we head right on back over into uh, our, our download and install. So it's at this point in the video, I like to state that if you're brand new here with Channel Jimmy as promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So the update is done and complete, and here we are at the welcome screen of Samsung One UI 8. And I'll just go through this whole start screens. They always talk about Galaxy AI. So this is where you can learn a little bit more about your writing assist, interpreter, the note assist, transcript assist, and everything else. I will actually play with this phone through the day. So in this way, I can create a better in-depth video of everything that is brand new, rather than just trying to go on the fly and try to see what is new. So right here, it says instantly access notifications and quick settings. Uh, now you're all set up. We're gonna go to home. Now, after you update to Samsung One UI 8 beta, make sure you take a look at your Galaxy Store. There's a lot of applications that is sitting there right now waiting for you to update your phone now that you have Samsung One UI 8. So in order for you to update everything, just head right over into your Samsung Galaxy Store, go to the very bottom right-hand side where it says menu, and then go to updates. And then this is where you'll see the updates for voice recorder, Samsung internet, reminder, the calendar, your clock, calculator, Samsung wallet, checkout, uh, your expert raw, Samsung vision model, and good lock. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna hit on update all for all of those ones. And I did notice that it did change my, my quick settings up over here through good lock. I switched up my quick uh, settings up over here where it would show more of them. So it looks as if I'll have to go back inside a good lock to make these changes again. But that's another thing I'll take a look at to see which modules work uh, with, with inside of good lock for Samsung One UI 8 beta. Now, one thing I do suggest is that anytime that you do a major update, one of the things you should always take a look at is the Samsung Tips application. That is because it's going to give you everything that is new with Galaxy AI, everything that's new with Samsung One UI 8. So that is everything I have planned for this video here, but I do want to let you guys know and end off on this, that Samsung One UI 8 will debut on Samsung's newest foldables this summer and then gradually expand to more Galaxy devices so users can enjoy an enriched, more personalized mobile experience with the latest version of Android. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos, which especially the next video will be about everything brand new about Samsung One UI 8. So again, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button, which is right over here. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.